Hi, my name is Tim. I'm here with Felicia. Hi, Felicia. I knew she was going to say that. We're on MSC. This is our first MSC experience. What are you thinking so far? So far, I love it. It's a beautiful ship. Personally, I agree, but I think the front end was disastrous. Half of their website was down. We tried to, they do something called status matching. So if you have status on a competing cruise line, they will match that up to the level. I was able to get gold status from my Royal Caribbean Diamond, but it didn't work for you. What happened? It just wouldn't work. I and mean, we even tried asking on the ship if they could do it, and they said, no, you have to wait. You know what? That Romanian chick had an attitude problem, okay? Not that all Romanian chicks, I just because <laughs> she had an issue, okay? We're going to have a little talk with her later. Anyway, a lot of people are asking us about MSC. Is this, this is your first MSC as well? This is my very first MSC, yes. And what other cruise lines have you sailed on? Royal, Disney, Carnival, Celebrity. So you can consider yourself a cruise expert at this point? Okay, sure. I think she's a cruise expert. Ladies and gentlemen, you agree? I do as well. So first MSC cruise. So there's a lot of differences here. Again, the front end, the website, half the stuff was down. Sometimes I couldn't do everything I wanted to do. And we actually, we actually asked a lot of people on social media. We tried to involve them in the discussion, people who have cruised and their thoughts on MSC. And a lot of people seem to have similar issues, right? Yes. What are some of the issues you saw in our, in our emails and notes? Well, I noticed that somebody had posted that they had booked a room that was not assigned yet. Right. But day, a day or two before the cruise, they still had no room assignment. They still couldn't print out luggage tags. They couldn't do their boarding information because they just didn't have the data. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a huge problem to me. Yeah, I've heard of that, too. Now, we upgraded to Yacht Club, so our room was assigned. And Yacht Club is kind of like their sweet neighborhood in other right. competing cruise lines. Yes. And we didn't have that problem. But I guess the people who travel as luggage which we're going to do next time, we'll probably not have boarding passes until like two hours before they're sailing. Would you say that's accurate? No, I would say that's accurate. But, you know, being part of Yacht Club was kind of cool in the beginning when we got on the bo uh, got on board. Yeah, after we got all the special treatment and got on board, yeah. they actually changed our room to the better side of the ship because of low capacity. That's true. This ship handles, I think, upwards of 5,000 people. There are only 800 people sailing on this ship. So that is, it's like a ghost town in here. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of eerie. You know, you don't hear the normal... I mean, it's nice that you don't have to wait for drinks. I mean, there's no lines anywhere for anything. You can get into any of the restaurants you want, but it's a little eerie. It doesn't have that festive atmosphere. I agree. agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's just a little weird. It's you don't hear people yelling and there's not crazy dancing. And I've actually been curtailed from my activities. You have. You've been a little quiet. Yeah. And I don't like that. No, it's kind of interesting. It's like we have our own personal yacht. It really is. It's yeah. very nice. The crew's been fantastic. The crew is um, great, but the crew's been great on just about every, every show. with the exception of that one Romanian woman. Again, no slight against Romania. Is Romania a country? Okay. Or is it in Russia? I don't even know where Romania is. Do you? I'm going to look at a map. All right, so people asked us, well, we asked actually, and people have asked us, what are the differences between the cruise lines? So we're going to compare the top nine cruise lines that sail from American ports. And we're going to compare them against automobiles, because that seems to be a good comparison, right? Sure. Yeah, I think All that's right. a good idea. All right. So we had a lot of help from our social media audience on um, YouTube and Facebook and um, Instagram and TikTok. So thank you to everybody who commented. So the first one we're going to talk about is Carnival. Now, what car, what make or manufacture of an automobile do you think the Carnival is compared with? I would say Chevy. And that's what they said, too. They said it's an everyday Joe Cruise. It's like a local amusement park. And this is a quote with a cheap hotel because you can't really afford to go to Disney World. Would you say that? I would agree with that. You said something about like a Kissimmee hotel? Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of off the beaten path. Off the beaten path, maybe more something you'd be able to afford in Kissimmee. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you like Chevys and you like Kissimmee hotels, which a lot of people do, it's a, it's a heavy festive atmosphere. People said a lot of people are young, drunk, and obnoxious. And hey, I was there too in my 20s. Yes, you were. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you cruise Carnival? I did, with you. How old were you? <laughs> no comment. You were 30-something? Sure. 30-something. Did you have a good time? I did. We I did, too. I, you know what? Yeah. We took the family. We took the kids. It was I, great. I'll tell you what. Carnival is a great, great option for families that just, you know, middle-class families. It really yeah. is. It's a lot of, it's a fun ship. It's noisy. It's fun. And if you're into that kind of thing, Carnival's probably the way you want to go. But I'll tell you what. My 20-something daughter, who thinks that Jack Daniels is upscale booze, 
she often gets offers for $10 cruises on Carnival. Yes, she does. Yeah. And I'm not sure what audience they're going for, but I don't get those offers. I log in under my number, my VIFP number, and it's like 200 bucks for an inside room. She's got 10 bucks. That's right. It's no lie. So I guess they're gunning for those younger people who, I guess, like to party. I don't know. All right. So what about Princess? Now, these first three lines, Carnival, Princess, and Holland America are all owned by Carnival Corporation. They also own Costa, Costa, which is uh, overseas. We're just talking about ones from American ports. What do you think about Princess? Princess is a little older, maybe a Buick. A Buick is perfect, right? They only make Oldsmobiles anymore, do they? So it's a little older, a little more civilized, but still family oriented for the most part. Did you know that? I did not know that. I've not been on Princess yet. I have not either, and that's on our short list. We're gonna try to find a Princess cruise. For unfortunately, it looks like they're all seven to 14 days. Yeah. Yeah, that just doesn't work with our schedule. But we have heard on our social media that you don't have to be a princess to sail on princess. Is that true? You are a princess. I'm not really sure. Okay, what about Holland America, also owned by Carnival? What do you think? What kind of car would you compare that to? Holland America, maybe um, a Grand Marquis. They don't even make those anymore. So what would be next? What are people who used to drive Grand Marquis? Well, they're all dead now. But what would they be driving in that age range now? The Cadillac. Cadillac. I'd say, yeah, Holland America is probably the Cadillac of the Carnival Cruise Line. A little bit older. We would call it, I would call it Grandma's Cruise Line. And since you're a grandma, would you sail on uh, Holland? I am not a grandma. I can't sail on that ship. What? Ouch. Okay, so uh, think it's like an old age home on the water. With those, you ever go to one of those old age homes where people just wait to die? That's, that's kind of, I think that's what Holland would be. That is wrong. It is a little wrong, but that's what we do here on this channel, and that's why you love us. So, um, I, know, that's, I guess that's kind of exaggerating a little bit, but probably a, a little older, more, uh, I don't know, more kind of uppity crowd. I guess. Yeah. I can't say. I really haven't been on there, so I can't really say. So what they've told us on our comments was that Holland appeals to an older demographic that prefers quiet, sit-down dining. You know that boring old couple that always swing dances? You know Barbara and Bill? <laughs> Ouch. God rest his soul. They should just do that god-awful dance everybody did in the 60s, and, you know, it's not really a dance, and they just swing each other around. That's what you're looking for in Holland America. Definitely not my kind of cruise line yet. In 10 years, call me. Okay, we'll call you. Oh, 20 years call me because I'm much too young for that. All right, so let's switch over to number four, Royal Caribbean. What kind of car would you compare? We said Carnival is a Chevy, so what do you think Royal Caribbean would be compared to? People like Royal Caribbean because it's safe and reliable, so I would have to go with a Toyota. Toyota does have that reputation. It's like a step up from a Chevy, still fairly priced, but a little more reliable in the opinion of most people. Hard I, to say, right? It is hard to say. It really is hard I'd to say. I'd say they're very, very, very similar. Yeah, I think Carnival's prices are a little bit lower, so you're going to get a little bit more of the 20-something crowd on there. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But um, we are, again, we have status on Royal Caribbean. We've been doing Royal Caribbean happily for... 10 plus years. We also have status on uh, Carnival, if I'm not mistaken, do, the yeah. VIP program. So uh, honestly, I think Carnival has better entertainment, except for the Oasis. They had one show. They have a couple of shows on the Oasis class, not on Wonder. Wonder was, I don't even know what they were doing on Wonder. Wonder was like old age home entertainment. It's like, okay, let's just throw some guys up on stage and whatever happens, people will love it. And apparently they do. So people are dumber than they look, aren't they? No, they're just trying to get themselves put together. It's brand new. It was inaugural, inaugural, I can't even say the word, cruise. Um, they're just trying to get their footing. Yeah, and uh, they're slipping all over the place. But some of the other Oasis shows, I'm not going to, the ice show was very well put together. Yes. Very, very, very well done. Um, not a lot of live music from what I could see. Agreed. Yeah. There was a, there was some Oasis class ships that had some amazing yeah. shows. I can't remember the name, Flight? Yeah, something like three or four years ago, we yeah. went on a wasted class ship, and it was, it was, it was mind blowing, yes. right? But the, they've the kind of shows we've seen. They, they, I agree, and they've kind of sailed downwards. I think they're sinking. They got a new entertainment guy, and I'm not sure he's uh, up for the gig. But what do I know, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, I produce shows, so I know a little more than the average guy. Okay, so get it together, Royal Caribbean. All right now, Royal Caribbean also owns Celebrity. So what car, if? Royal Caribbean's a Toyota. What's their luxury line? Lexus. That's right. So Celebrity's kind of a Lexus. Did you sail on uh, Celebrity? I did. We sailed on the um, first sailing out of a U.S. port after they stopped the after COVID. After COVID, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who was your captain? Captain Kate. And why the heck is she on Celebrity? 
I don't know. She is awesome. She should be on Royal Caribbean. She's, She's awesome. really, yeah. Yeah. She I, is a celebrity, literally a celebrity. So it's a little more snooty than a Cadillac. You know, people who drive Lexuses, Lexi, is that the plural of Lexuses? <laughs> people who drive Lexi are a little more snooty than people who drive Cadillacs, don't you think? Okay. Because they think they're better than you because... I don't know. They're driving a foreign car. I don't know what the rationale is there. I really never drove one. So, um, so celebrity, I would equate to Royal Caribbean's Hall in America, right? Yeah, I agree. How old do you think the crowd was on Celebrity? Six. And we were only on one sailing, so. Right, 60 plus. It was definitely older. I mean, the sh whole ship shut down by 10 o'clock, but there's the same kind of thing, sit down, dining, swing dancing, and by 1030... On the main promenade, there's nobody there. Everybody's in bed, right? Agreed. And that's not a bad thing either. If that is your cup of tea, then celebrity is where you want to be, right? right? Yeah, yeah. agreed. The service, food was all about the same on uh, Celebrity as it was on Royal Caribbean, I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think Royal has a little bit more options. And Celebrity is more in tune with sit-down kind of stuff. But they do have, they had a buffet on Celebrity, right? They did. I think all the buffets are awesome. I think they are too. All right, so let's skip over to Norwegian. All right. Now, what would what major car manufacturer would you equate a Norwegian cruise to? Let's go with a Volvo. Why? Oh, it's a little. These are not Felicia's opinions. This is what we read here. I'm just <laughs> reading off the list. This, these are copied from our social media posts. So it's more of a fickle, elitist. Type. You didn't say snob. I didn't you say snob. I couldn't say it. I couldn't say it. So here's the thing about Volvo. People are kind of snobbish. They think they're better than you. And no one really drives them. There's like 10 on the road, right? Yep. But they're out there. You really have to look for a Volvo to find one, right? Mm -hmm. But they um, they do offer free Wi-Fi, free drinks. There's some incredible packages you can get with Norwegian just right off the bat. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. So price-wise, if you factor all that in, people are saying Norwegian's really expensive. It's really not. If you're going to get a drink package for Wi-Fi, you're probably going to be at the same price as a Royal Caribbean, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they offer typically five free different things, including specialty dining. Yeah, so as long as they don't sail around the Dominican Republic, we're not going to have a problem. You people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a little problem. That could have happened to any ship, they but uh, we actually saw that ship in uh, Port Canaveral. We did, right before we were leaving. Or they're fixing a hole or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's just not sailing right now right not sailing yeah. mm -mm. so uh hope everybody i know everybody's okay they just had a hard time getting home from what i've heard yeah yeah all right so norwegian like a volvo so we talked carnivals like a chevy princess like a buick holland holland america like a cadillac and we said royal caribbean like a toyota and their sister company celebrity like a lexus we said norwegians like a volvo how about msc the ship that we are on right now what major car manufacturer would you say they're like let's go with um hyundai that's what I said. What I? <laughs> Here's my, this is my person. I said, they're trying hard. They look pretty, but they're really strange under the hood. Okay. Right? Because they're, I'll tell you what. This is a European cruise. What do you want to say? No, nothing. Okay. So it's a little bit different. However, the crew here is primarily, there's a lot of Indian and Asian people. They are not European crew. So they're European um I guess their customs are not really applicable here, right? Right. Although the top brass seems to be Italian. Italian, Greek. Yeah. And Mediterranean, yes, right? Yes. All right. So we get a lot of questions about tipping because in Europe, you're not supposed to tip because some people find that offensive. However, since most of the staff here is not from Europe, I think tipping is just normal. I think it is. I haven't noticed anything. And I'm afraid a lot of these people get slighted because people assume that this is, since this is a European-based a cruise company that you're not supposed to tip. People will find it's not true at all. So yeah, they gratefully accept tips. Oh here. yeah, absolutely. Staff here has been phenomenal. Uh, I think the food, a lot of people complain about the food. Some people have said it's sewage. Some people have said it's rank. What? I I do not agree. No, not at all, not all right, at So all. our first meal we ate where? The Yacht Club. And how was that? Delicious. What did you have? I had, um, what was it called? It was some sort of lasagna ham cheese roll up. It was thingy. a, uh, some of you get it at a melting pot. And it had cheese, cheese fondue, fondue right? around it. Yes, it was delicious. Good. It really was very good. And I had a, uh, it was like a filet, which was really good with nice fresh vegetables around it too. Mm -hmm. And that was very good too. Where was our second meal? Where was our hola. second? Oh, hola, the Mexican restaurant. Delicious. All right, so there's two restaurants here. Well, not two restaurants, but two places that are franchised, kind of like Starbucks is on Royal Caribbean. So there's this place called Talk. It's called Hola. Hola. 
and it's a Mexican restaurant, but it's a franchise, so it is a la carte. You have to, your drink package will not work there, but they are the only place we could find Don Julio Anejo. That is true. It's 16 bucks a shot, but worth every sip. It was amazing. <laughs> so you have to pay for that individually, right. and none of the food or none of the drinks in taco are covered under your drink or meal package, although you can buy a meal package, which includes taco. Yes, you can. So what did you get at taco? We did the all you can eat mm -hmm. for eight, I think it was 18 18 bucks, yeah. 18 bucks. All you can eat anything on the menu, they'll bring as much as you can eat. Um, and we started off with we love chips and salsa, so we started off with what let's call it a flight of all yeah. the different salsas they had. They had, I don't know, nine or so different salsas yeah. from, from mild to very hot. It was awesome. Yeah, I think it's only three dollars a la carte for the chips. I think it's unlimited <laughs> chips, and you get a ton like. All those different salsas. Some of them are really good. There were some bean dips, some uh, traditional salsas. Some were spicy, some were not. But I thought it was really good. It was very good. The service, again, impeccable. It was a great experience. Yeah. A beautiful, it's a small restaurant, but very, very pretty. We sat at the tree table. We did. It was a yeah. neat table. Was it was neat. actually a table with a tree going in the middle of it. Yeah. So we were the first people in there, and everybody wants the tree table. We unfortunately got it before everybody else got it. That's right. They were giving us dirty looks, but that was a neat place. And uh, where did we eat breakfast this morning? Uh, the marketplace. The windjammer. The windjammer. We always call. Buffet. It's always the windjammer, no? Yeah, yeah, it's always the windjammer. So, and how was that? What did you think of the food there? I thought it was really good. I think that their marketplace is very interesting. Um, think of it as going to a mall food court. Everything that, is se se yeah. segregated. There's there. Everything's nicely labeled. You can find your salads and your pastas and your soups. It's just nice. After getting off Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, which seem they have a big windjammer, two sides. This is two sides as well, but I didn't feel it was organized at all. I was very confused every night I went to. The only thing I could recognize was the bar and the bread side on Wonder of the Seas. But here, everything is segregated. It's almost like little individual restaurants, right? It is. It is. It's nice. And I think that's a really smart design. Now, they were handing out food. Is that a child? It is a child. Oh, my God. There's children here. Um, that's like the only one I've heard. About that, it's after spring break. I think actually, spring break is probably still on in some places. Uh, some places, probably very few kids on this sailing, and there's only 800 people on here on this MSC. We're on the Mer how do you say this? Meraviglia, Meraviglia. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, I thought the food was really good. I got scrambled eggs and uh, some hash browns and some bacon. I thought it was great. They have a, a large selection of bread, they have um, international dishes here. Yep, it was good. I see no, you know, what I have noticed that the coffee is a hundred times better. Royal Caribbean, in my opinion, has the worst coffee I've ever had on a ship. That is what he says every time. I don't know what, it makes my mouth like pucker. It's like, <laughs> on point to I don't drink, I love to drink coffee. And I just hate Starbucks too, but it's more like Starbucks-ish. But here it was a very smooth, it didn't make my mouth pucker. I think MSC has better coffee. And they had your coffee creamer. They did. They have a cremation. Cremation. Is that what it's called? Cremation. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. They have, they put ashes in your coffee. Maybe they do that in Royal Caribbean. I don't know. Crematoria. Crematorium. Why do I keep going there? You know what? Cremation. What is it called? Cremate? No. Cre cremation. <laughs> Not gonna but it was really good. It was good in my coffee. Right, I'm going to stop there. Coffee mate. Coffee mate. Not cremation. <laughs> All right, so MSC, we're talking like a Hyundai. Trying hard, looks pretty, a little strange under the hood. The front end experience when you're logging on and booking your cruise can be a little frustrating. If I were to use a travel agent, and we don't, but if I were to use a travel agent, I would say use a travel agent morning with um, MSC more than any other. Everything else is pretty self, like Oro Caribbean, Norwegian, everything was online. C Carnival has a great online interface. MSC, a little wonky, and in our experiences, then again, we only do one cruise, so maybe it's different on other sailings. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Mask requirements pretty much gone. People were saying that they enforced it at the buffet. That has not happened. I haven't worn a mask since we got on board. That is true. Yeah. And uh, we're serving our own food now. It is mm, yeah. April, April yeah. 2022. A April 1st, 2022. And it is definitely different than when we just sailed on Royal three weeks three weeks ago, where yeah. Royal served everything to you in the buffet area. I like that. I do too. Yeah. And this is um, this is more self-serve. Now you can have people's booger hands on the, the tongue. And you wash your hands before you get in the restaurant, but then you touch the tongs and everything. And now you've got somebody schmutz and DNA all over the tongs. I'd rather them serve me. I would too. Right? Yeah. All right, so MSC, we're talking about Hyundai. You know Hyundai is related to Kia? I did not know that. Get some soul, bro. All right, now let's go to number eight, Disney. What would you say Disney is like? Um, or what did our people say? Mercedes. Like a Mercedes, because why? Because it's safe. Yeah. 
Braggable? What does braggable mean? What does braggable mean? It means, oh, I went on Disney. Oh, you couldn't afford it. It's twice as much as every other cruise. Oh, too is, bad. Maybe someday when you save your pennies. It is definitely more pricey. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Even with the Florida discount, it's more pricey. But Disney does a heck of a job. Their ships are beautiful. Their rooms are amazing. Didn't they have a separate bathroom in ours? Yes. Yes, it was nice. It, it, I tell you, it was a regular... Uh, ocean View room when we went on Disney. It which was. ship do, do you remember? Which ship it was? Magic or something? It, it was either Magic or Dream. It might, I think it was Dream. I don't remember, I but remember. they do a beautiful job with the design of their ship. Their theaters are top notch. Their entertainment is amazing. Entertainment's important to you. Probably want to choose Disney. Yeah. The rest of these guys, again, we're talking like retirement home entertainment, right? You're so harsh. It's true. I'm trying to be true for the you need to know what to expect. Wouldn't you rather me tell you the truth rather than sugarcoat it? Say, oh, everything's fabulous. Like all these other yahoos, all these other fanboys. Oh, my God, they're terrible. All right. So Disney like a Mercedes. Um, remember, though, in Europe, Mercedes are used as taxis. Are they? So in oh Europe, Mercedes are like Chevrolets. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there, but Disney provides a wonderful experience if you can afford it. Maybe a once or twice in a lifetime thing, unless you're floating in dough. And if you are, take us along. We'd be happy to document your cruise, wouldn't we? Oh, we would, definitely. Oh, we would. So, all right, so the last one we're talking about, Virgin, and neither of us has sailed on Virgin yet because they go out of Miami, which is a little too far from Port Canaveral for us. It's a three and a half hour drive. So we haven't done that yet, but it's on our short list, and they're only seven days right now, right? Yeah, I believe they're seven yeah. days. So. What did people say Virgin would be like if we compared Virgin Cruises to a car? People have said it's more like a Tesla. If Elon Musk owned a cruise line, this might be it. So it's all about image with these Virgin people, right? Adults only. There are no kids allowed on Virgin Cruises. And I always get the image of Elon Musk in my head yelling something like, screw your kids, screw old people, and screw your fam. Come on, Virgin, and let's party. Okay, now, they're aggressive, too. I mean, their color is red, although they're beautiful. We saw one sailing next to us on Wonder of the Seas at night. It was lit up all in red. It was gorgeous. And But red is an aggressive color, right? That is true. And Power, <laughs> Power color. And uh, it's aggressive, right? Now, Scarlet Lady actually has a boxing ring on the ship. For real? There is a literally a boxing ring on Scarlet Lady. Now, what kind of cruise line is going <laughs> to want people to actually get drunk and fight yeah right, right? that I scares like that. me a little bit right so i don't know we're gonna try it because we want to report it to you on this channel so hit that like and subscribe and comment and share and all that fun stuff too as we appreciate you we want to tell you the truth we come off a little more harsh than some of the other people i've seen some of these other youtubers like oh everything's great everything's like everything is wonderful but is that true not always true in life the truth is not everything is wonderful. It's not like a Lego movie, okay? Sometimes things are not wonderful. And we want to let you know to, what, to, what to look out for. I mean, sometimes you go on these cruise lines and they're not well-reviewed. You may know what to look out for so you can improve your experience, right? Right. That's true. Truth is power, my friends. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so to recap, Carnival like Chevy, Princess like Buick, Holland America like uh, Grand Marquis or a Cadillac. Tell us about Royal Caribbean. Toyota. Celeb celebrity would be a Lexus. Norwegian like Volvo. MSC a Hyundai. Disney like a Mercedes. And Tesla would be for the Virgin. That's right. So that, in a nutshell, that's the easiest way to compare it, right? Yep, I agree. I was going to compare it to other things, but I would get in trouble with most of those. So the cars seem to be fairly easiest way to compare them, right? I agree. I think people will understand that. So if you're on the fence and you want to try a different cruise line, I'm recommending you jump on MSC if you can get there from where you are. They sail from, I think, Miami. They're going to be in New York if they're not there already. This Meraviglia is moving to New York in 2023. Correct. They're taking it off to refurb and then putting it up in New York. It's going to be wonderful. And they're going to move a different ship into Port Canaveral. So, I, I mean, a lot of people don't know anything about MSC. It's just so weirdly marketed that I don't think they're hitting the mainstream market yet. Uh, I agree. Do you know which one is coming into Port Canaveral? Um, I don't remember off the top. I had read about it yesterday. It's a smaller ship. This is one of their bigger ones. Has like, it handles like 5,000 or so passengers. I think the one that's coming in is like 3,000 or 3,500. How many people are on this cruise today? Only 800 on here. So it is like you're looking behind me. There's nobody here. There's nobody we're on the there. second day. We're on our way to Nassau. There's like nobody out. The there's kid's even out. gone. Yep. So it, it is very, very quiet. quiet. It's like our own personal yacht. Yeah, we're actually sitting on, on the second floor of the promenade. And there's... There's been a few nope. people walk by. A few but people, yeah. but it's really, really it's quiet. It's not really. It's like almost 10 in the morning. 
Yeah. So it's people have polite. slept off their hangovers by now and had their first or second Bloody Marys. Yep, yeah. agreed. So the bars are open. We do have a drink package with our yacht club thing, and there is it is unlimited. As a matter of fact, when you're in the yacht club, and we'll do a whole video on MSC and the difference on MSC, so make sure you subscribe and watch that. It's really interesting. When you're in the yacht club, you don't even have to show your card to get a drink. So they're not tracking anything in the yacht club. Nope, they're not. So you could technically order a hundred drinks, which I was thinking about doing, but that's just wasteful. Wasteful. Yeah. And they have really good tequila there too, so I don't want to waste that. I'll make sure I have enough right. when I really want it. All right, so that's our comparison of the nine American Cruise Line companies. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down here, here, like, comment, flame us. Even if you hate this video and hate everything we said, put that in the comments because that helps our engagement. Oops, is that a secret? <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see y'all. Make sure you catch our video on the overview of the MSC Cruise Lines coming up soon right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you. Bye, Felicia. I knew she was going to say that. I knew it. I'm not leaving my wingman. My long lost cousin, Tim Cruise, is the ultimate reviewer. Woo Please watch Cruise Reviews with Tim Cruise. Now, Tim feels the need. The need for speed. <laughs> well, not so much speed. We're on a cruise, but he completes me. Cruise reviews, there is no substitute.